Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. It is Raphael's turn. There's just a little escort, uh, a recon fleet coming around, so let's dispatch them. I know some of you will now think, oh, come on, just click the auto resolve. Well, and the reasons are the same. Oh, a nice planet, by the way, in the background. If we do that, then actually there's a way higher chance that we suffer losses. And I still want to maximize our Tillium. Because I want to rather sooner than later do the story mission. Um, and yeah. While Hunpacked wrote some very interesting stuff about how to uh, even be more efficient with the experience gain. I'm not very efficient there, I have to say. I think that's, for my personal taste, maybe even a little bit too much. Oh, well, well, what am I doing here? We can just go in and shoot them up. What am I doing here? Um, yeah. So, but it's indeed, it's uh, it's better for the experience bonus if a capital ship is actually uh, getting the kill via means of their board cannons, of their artillery. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not entirely certain if that is really super necessary, but you can certainly, I'm, I'm sure of that, you can certainly speed up the process. So there we go. Only regular guided missiles. Let's not waste any tillium here. Also, this will make the Cylons think that they have an enemy in front of them that is not that sophisticated, right? So it's a good distraction. So we are all... Yes, Commander. Punching it. Let's go forward. Going low. You guys. Yeah. Yes, sir. Control squadrons, Monaco, launch your Vipers as well, please. So, there we go. Ranger coming up. Manticore, you actually don't need to boost, but... Oh, well, actually, you do need to boost. So the enemy is rather far away, and I've, I guess these are... Nemesai. Well, actually, we probably shouldn't get forward before the Vipers are out and can provide some defense. So let's... Nah, what's going on? Let's not fly too far forward, but just like so, maybe. And then next turn we can identify them. We are far enough away. These guys just want to check on us, I guess. Ending the turn. Yeah, and well, to speak of uh, role playing for a second, Hunpacked found out that even with the DLC, uh, well, it appears the devs have been lazy and uh, only have a, a limited number of uh, fleet, fleet compositions. I find that a little bit sad. And that is, of course, reducing Onic the long term Commander. motivation of players. But, well, I guess you can't have so everything, say we all. Huh? And as uh, Daddy wrote uh, quite some time ago, he loves the game, as I think a lot of us do, uh, despite its flaws. A hell of a game. So, so say we all. There we go. And... Yeah, well, actually, we could... I don't want to get too far ahead, actually. All Vipers, you guys defend the Eurybia. And the Eurybia, yeah, goes as far forward as possible. Starts shooting at these guys. Oh, yeah, let's actually, no, let's actually fly high. So, and then the others go low. And that's okay. Yeah, you if you can. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess this guy here is the, will be the one that is uh, the first to to be in weapons range. And you guys focus fire as well. So hostile unit identified. IFF confirms Nemesis, unit is yeah. hostile. One MSI. That's uh, the Cylon Recon. Uh, formation. Yes, sir. Let's go full attack mode. Let's shoot missiles there. All elements. Shoot missiles on that one. But we are actually flying like so. Focus fire on that one. Ranger going forward. Yes, Commander. Shooting at this guy. Firing missiles there. Artemis. Preparing to activate flak on the right side firing munitions there shooting this guy as well and actually let's have two squadrons attack. squadron target is confirmed so there right and you guys shooting your missiles yeah so all right, that's that. You guys are also shooting, it's good. You can actually shoot at this one. I will actually, let's fly like so. Ending the turn. Yeah, because they are actually... Fighter squadron is taking fire. Missiles incoming. All the Vipers. Our Vipers brace for impact, repeat brace for impact. Our Vipers are overwhelmed with the defense, so all of you guys defend the Nemosa, uh, the Eurybia. They are messed up. Ranger, follow up on this one. Astana. Yeah, actually you too. And all frigates. On it, Commander. Focus fire on that one as well. Twenty core. Flies around like so. Rear turret. Punch them. But yeah, I guess like most of these missiles will hit us. But that was actually also relative nice uh, precision here on our part shooting the missiles under the Rubia. so ending the turn yeah, they are coming in however our vipers managed to intercept some of them at least they are very good we have a double kill yes good a double kill at least and now let's have three of you guys yes but sir. actually all of you all vipers Understood. Attack there. Manticore all attack again. The rear has been hit. You guys shoot there. Astana. Fly like so. There you focus fire there. Ranger. Focus fire on that one as well, and you can shoot your missiles also, while the Adamans hmm. Yeah, I think they are actually in a bad position here, so let's fly like so. And let's focus on that one. And do we actually have the right angle well actually we could just stay like this let's actually stay like this should be fine going forward a bit like so messing them up 
All right. Let's look from here and return. Yep, they are in a massive fire. However, we don't care so much. A battle star is being hacked. Yeah, nice. Nice perspective from here. Yep, they are just flying away. We don't care uh, for their hacking attempts. Oh, but they, ne they nearly broke through our firewall. Okay, well. Our Vipers made a very nice attack run. Destroying that one. I'm, I'm not sure if you saw it. You guys boost forward. Like so, but yeah. Well, they will be destroyed by the missiles momentarily anyway. There. That's it. Very nice indeed, dispatching these nosy Cylon scouts. There, Raphael. Well done, let's have a look again. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also good, like for Morel, I think, just to dispatch them easily sometimes. Uh, and just to go in and, you know, slap them over. It's basically a relaxing battle then. Yeah, nice, already in artillery range. Beautiful with the battle in the background, uh, with the planet in the background. And there, bye bye Cylon. Cylon hopes in shambles. But now they know that the planet is uh, well fortified and well defended. Oh, nice perspective as well. Oh, you guys better not crash in mid space. All right then. So, yeah, everybody is on elite. Well then. Yeah. Yeah, I just wish there were some more uh, RPG elements and some more strategic information, just like for role-playing stuff. But well, we can't have everything. So Hope is facing. That is, that will be a nasty battle, I think. So we are actually our strength is matched. However, our fleet is made up completely of rookies, and Hope. Well, I mean, she's a relatively experienced commander, but, uh, you know, no match to uh, experienced Cylon. So let's hope that goes well. But that, my dear fellow tacticians and strategists, we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel. You know, it always helps with everything and makes me happy. And if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section as always. You're very welcome. See you next time. Bye-bye.